This is uh, what we call a uh, the field course in marine biology. What students learn from this is what we had always promoted at FIT, which is real hands-on experiences for our students to not only do the science of it, but also absorb science in its local uh, venue. Two alumni who, in fact, took this course when it was first developed in 2008 um, Evan Tuohy and uh, Chelsea Harms. So they have developed this research and educational uh, institute uh, called Islamar. It is a two-week course in which we all come here to Puerto Rico and we, uh, we, we spend uh, a few hours to, to do some lectures and Q&A sessions and then we go to the field and, and make the connection between theory and reality. So we, we structure the course in a way that kind of resembles the everyday life of a, a field researcher. And it's not everything that you see on the National Geographic channel in these plush, highly funded projects. You can do a lot with little resources. It's, it's an intensive two weeks. You know, we're in the field all morning. In the afternoon, we're in the classroom giving lectures or doing some type of excursion, hiking the waterfalls through the rainforest, seeing some of the island and the island ecology. general day would look like waking up in the morning, going into the field, practicing the technique that we learned or the way that we taught them in the afternoon before. We spend a lot of time in the water um, visiting all kinds of different areas around the island. We go to seagrass beds, mangroves, spend a lot of time uh, on the coral reefs. We visit marine protected areas and fished reefs. The focus of the courses have always been to train the students with the necessary skills to continue their careers as field marine scientists. So what we do and what we've trained our students to do is to perform underwater visual census. The basics of that would involve a transect tape, um, a quadrat, and, we, and a slate with a data sheet. So essentially we take that transect tape, we lay a, a line on the reef to assess the habitat, uh, of that coral reef, we have a quadrat that we'll lay at, again, predetermined distances along that transect and take photos. We'll essentially use that information to characterize like percent live coral cover or the different distribution of the, those benthic organisms um, along that transect tape, which we can use to extrapolate to the area, our study site, for instance, the uh, reserve out here in Rincon. We came and explored the beach and then we had like went right out snorkeling the next day. And then we learned how to do transects. So we take the root like the tape measure, we go out 25 meters, and then every five meters we lay out a quadrant, take a picture. And it's really hard with the swells. I was like upside down and everything. And then you test rigosity and you just hang a chain about 10 meters and you do calculation. That was harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> it was really fun though, but whipping around the swells and everything. I think every day it's just been snorkeling and exploring new places. I decided to do this particular field course because it is something completely different from my major and uh, it was uh, I felt that it was a good opportunity to uh, come and do something completely different in a completely new place. The importance of, of um, taking these pictures and taking these measurements is sort of, uh, it's good to have the, this data for um, all future reference to see over time how these reefs have changed and how maybe uh, hurricanes or um, increases in population and other factors have affected um, the, uh, the reefs basically. 
multiple different um, speakers. We've had a geologist, we've had multiple different specialists that have come to talk to us about different areas of their study, which has been really interesting. And I think that's, that's probably my favorite part so far of the trip and of working with Chelsea and Evan. We really enjoy getting our local graduate students on the island involved with our courses and it kind of helps the FIT students network with these graduate students as well. So we have those graduate students come and read guest lectures and kind of fill in the gaps in areas of marine science that might not be our expertise. That's always been a really incredible experience for the students to get to essentially learn field techniques, to be in the water, to, to learn these skills that they're going to be able to take with them in their career, but then at the same time get to explore an amazing island. We got our group involved with kind of giving back as a, a service opportunity to our island here after um, we felt the devastation of Hurricane Maria. This field course doesn't just encompass reef recovery, it also covers uh, terrestrial recoveries. So we actually went to a cacao farm to help the farmers replant their cacao trees after the storm. I think that was really interesting because we were helping their community as well as studying corals. We're incorporating terrestrial and marine uh, recovery, which is, I think, really unique about this course. The added value of a field research-based class like this, you know, this is what we call a field course in marine biology, is that uh, the, the students can immerse themselves to real-life situations that puts more meaning to what they learn in the theoretical aspects of science because they can immediately uh, apply that and find real meaning. I was kind of worried at first. I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. Like, is it worth it? Will I learn enough? And I think I've learned more in the two weeks than I did all year. <laughs> Just hands-on work, um, getting to hear Evan and Chelsea's perspective on how their work is and how you do research. And it's a lot harder than I thought it would be, but it's definitely worth it. <laughs> I thought that I would have a hard time like memorizing the fish species because I like, struggle with that. But the more that they, they kind of also help you figure out a way to study because the way that they lecture, you know, you're like, oh, this kind of helps me the way they do the fish quiz and everything. So I, I appreciated that. One of the most fulfilling aspects of being involved with this course is to watch students from really progress from day one and, and to day 14 at the end of the trip. And to go out into the field with them and point out these fish, well which fish is that or what coral is that, and to hear them like immediately be able to tell us which one it is after, you know, just a few days of, of practice and training and and to you know to take them to a new a new spot and just see their eyes like light up when they see like this beautiful super healthy coral reef out here in Rincon and one thing that I love about the class that we have now is everyone is just so proactive and so interested and I know they're tired I know like we definitely keep them really busy but when it comes down to it at the end of the day when we say hey who wants to go on a, an afternoon snorkel every single one of them raises their hands like they're all ready to go right back out into the field to you know go explore something new and like we love that like that just totally brightens our day like to see that you know even through all the hard work they're still super amped to go try something new to go explore something different. Interviewed with a dog. All right. <laughs>